What is going on guys, Nick Ross here and we got another episode of Food of Legends. Now today's breakfast, not a typical breakfast, we got red meat, aka steak, aka steak for breakfast. Um, so I'm going to have this, probably with some broccoli, uh, some potatoes, and uh, I'm going to have to cook up some chicken later on for meal number two. Um, so that's what I'm going to do right now. So I'm going to cook this up and show you the end result. And one more thing guys, as you can see, this steak is very, very lean. This is at least 97% lean red meat. Look at that. Look how red that is. Yeah, you got little pieces of fat here and there, you know, what of it. You know, the fact is the majority of it is lean, okay? I actually bought a few of those. I have another one inside here as well. Very lean, pretty much little to no fat. Very little. Of course, I got a little bit of chicken here. Got to always have chicken on deck. And this is my guy, man. I, I can't die without this. I can't do it. I really can't. I need that. Flavor for everything, man. Zero calories. It doesn't equal the ketchup, but it gets the job done. So, all right. Let's do this. All right, guys. Here's the finished product. Here's the meal. So, we got four ounces of, um, that's actually four and a half ounces of steak. We got 210 grams of potato. And I don't even know how many um, grams that is. I just put a serving of vegetables inside there, um, namely broccoli. So I shouldn't even be showing you guys, but I'm going to show you it anyway. I know I'm going to get a lot of shit right now for doing this, but I told you guys I'm going to keep it real, show you guys everything that I do, and I'm not going to hold back on things that I try to get done. So we mash up the potatoes, the leftover fat that's in the pan from the steak. Pour that shit on the potatoes. It's not much. It's gonna give it a nice flavor. I know people are gonna talk shit, saying, "Oh, Nick, you know that's bad for you," and this and that. You know, I don't really care if it's good or bad. I'm trying to do what's right, what's right for me, and what I need to do to stay sane and enjoy my meal, but still not go over my calories and track my macros and make sure that I am still in a deficit. So. That's what I do, and this is meal number one, and I'll be back with meal number two. Alright guys, so a little mistake was made by me. I took a nap, I woke up, I forgot I had to film, and I just ate my meal without filming. So, I had a cup of oatmeal, um, just oatmeal when I woke up. It took like maybe a 45 minute nap. Um, so you're not going to see the oatmeal portion of this full day, or food of legends, full day of eating, aka full day of eating video. But you are going to see meal number three right now, which consists of some chicken, spinach, and broccoli. So we have 10 and a half ounces of chicken, about maybe 300 grams of broccoli. And I'm going to be incorporating some, um, uh, 300 grams of spinach, man. I'm so confused right now. Oh, uh, the, the diet feels, guys. The diet feels, man. My mind's just like thinking about them burgers, man, and those fries, man. Those fries. Those fries, the, the cheese on it, man. The cheese and, 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 and the salt. The salt. Man, that salt. Shit. But um, nah, man. Like I, I have a mission and I have a goal. And I have to stay true to what I want to achieve. And I refuse to be deviated. I refuse to be deviated. Real quick, let me show you the meal. Here we go. I need to add more spinach. Um, chicken is on the bottom. Uh, I haven't added the broccoli yet. I will. A little bit of salsa, and this will be a meal, meal number three. Stay tuned, guys, for meal number four, which should be either it might be my post workout meal, um, or I might have a little snack before the workout. I'm not exactly sure I'm going to do it, but I will keep you guys up to date. Stay tuned. Alrighty, guys, so we are about to go to the gym to work some back. A little background noise is a coffee. Can you guys see the, the coffee right there? That's my coffee section. I told you guys this a few videos ago. That almond, some good shit. Um, so right now I'm going to just have like, you know, something very small to get into my stomach. So I'm going to do half a pack of the Amber Night Superfood Drinkable. And I'm going to be stacking that with two scoops of whey protein. I'm very behind on my protein. I kind of started the day a little late. 
Um, I had to wake up and I had to take my brother to school. And um, my mom's actually away to the UK, so I'm responsible for her store. So I have to wake up early, take him to school. I have to open the shop. Um, and I was exhausted, man. Like, I needed a nap after that, so I took a nap. And, you know, I just started my day pretty late because um, I'm responsible for other things and other people. And I got to put their needs and what they got to do before what I got to do, which is get my meals in on time. So wasn't able to get meals in on time. No excuses. Just telling you what happened. Um, that's why I'm doing two scoops of protein to compensate for the lack of protein that I didn't get in my breakfast. So that's what we're going to do right now. So we're going to consume that. I'm going to show you what it looks like. So one second. Have to work some back. All right, guys. So we have the last meal of the day here. Just finished a crazy back session. I didn't film it. I'm sorry, but um, there's only certain times of the day where I can film at the gym, and I went eveningish time. That like five to seven o'clock time in the gym is like too, 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 too crowded to film. So um, tomorrow I'm definitely going to try to go a little earlier. Tomorrow would be legs. So I'll film what I can of legs because I can barely work legs. But I'll show you guys what's going on there. Right now I'm trying to clean my coffee machine. So uh, I have a bit of water inside there. I'm gonna use a little bit of soap. Um, probably put a little bit of vinegar inside there as well and make it go through the steaming process and steam up the whole thing. So cleaning that out. This here is going to be my last meal. I got some steaks inside there. That with a big serving of spinach and that's it for the night. So. I'll show you when it's done. All right, guys. So we have six and a half ounces of steak. As you can see, I cut it up very small. I'm going to add this into my spinach. Very small serving of spinach. So I'm just going to put that inside there. I'm going to add a little bit of mustard to the meal. The reason why I use mustard is because there are no calories in mustard. So I can use as much mustard as I want. I don't have to worry about calories. Whereas if I use ketchup or A1 sauce, I gotta track it and there's some carbs and sugar inside there. I don't wanna deal with that, so I just cut it out. So this is my last week of spinach. Um, well, not my last week, but next week I'm gonna switch up from spinach to parsley. So I'm gonna be consuming a lot of parsley next week. Um, now, I don't know, I, I just like to switch up my vegetables um, you know, from time to time. I don't like to stick to just, you know, just broccoli or just spinach or just like green beans or something. I want to switch it up so next week will be parsley use parsley for pretty much the whole week and then the week after that then I'll do a green beans and then switch back to the spinach that's how I typically do it and also from here on out I'm gonna be switching my carb source to just potatoes just potatoes only potatoes and nothing else but potatoes I feel I truly feel like potatoes are the best carb source the best carb source better than oatmeal better than brown rice even better than sweet potato. Um, I'm not a big fan of sweet potato or yam. I mean, I'll eat it, but if I had a choice, I'll go with just a regular white potato or the regular rusty potato. Um, I don't know why, man. Like, I just, I look leaner. I look drier. Um, I burn fat easier. I don't know what it is in the potato, but I just feel like I get better results just eating potatoes. Like oatmeal. Oatmeal is a little tricky because it has a little bit of protein, a little bit of fat, whereas potatoes are just pure carbs, maybe one gram of protein, virtually no fat, and it has added vitamins, like, actually has vitamin C, a little bit of fiber, so you really can't go wrong. So, this is week nine, from now, pretty much to the end of my prep, which is in nine weeks from now, I'm gonna be using potatoes. My only carbohydrate source is potatoes. And that's what you have to do. People nowadays diet, but they refuse to suffer, they refuse to really push the envelope um, to see um, extraterrestrial results. I mean, I don't want to look average and decent and just like everyone else. I want to be just a little bit different. I want to look a little bit different. That means I have to do something that the other competitors are not doing, which is maybe go a little harder on my diet, maybe do more cardio, maybe lift a little heavier. I have to do something different. For me, 
I'm going to be, be very strict in my diet, be very on point with my diet, be very on point with my macros, and make sure that I get what I need in every single day. That is how I achieve my results. So, very excited to continue this prep. Um, like I said, issue with the knee, so I'm going to be visiting doctor maybe tomorrow or the day after that. Depending on what they say, I might pull out the show, but as it is right now, I'm still in the show and I'm still pushing it. So, Nick Ross, guys, body of legends, food of legends. Thank you very much. See you next time.